Can they get we be the winners of this school tournament? Royal, ten points away. Still, they have got a chance to come back in the second half. That's a lovely conversion. St. Peter's will be twelve nil. Difficult proposition for Royal. Now there's a crowd there cheering for St. Peter's, and we can see uh, everyone. And there's going to be a commercial break. That's going to be the try. Lovely try. There was no way, and it just went under. He took that uh, player with him. Uh, Robbie, that's the future. That's 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 one of the future sevens players. We got the speed. We got the size. We could have hit them now and start developing. Look at the power, the strength. Uh, I think Royal should learn from the uh, uh, the Papuans who knocked the hand. To get that ball out. So welcome so down on. here, pitch side to the uh, Carlton Sri Lankan International Rugby Sevens. We're almost down to the business end of the tournament, and you just saw Papua New Guinea play against the Australian legends. And stood next to me is a man I spent many years playing against. Well, he's not uh, the, the kindest man in the middle of the park, but an absolute legend. Great privilege. Waisali Sarvi, Bulawinaka, welcome to Sri Lanka. There you go. He's brilliant. Now tell me about Papua New Guinea. I know you played for Fiji many years. So many years for Fiji, then you were captain, then coach, and here you are now for That's Papua New Guinea against your own Fijians. Must be very rare. Tell us about Papua New Guinea. Yes, uh, first of all, I'd like oh, to no. thank God for giving me the opportunity. Uh, after Fiji, the door opened to go to PNG, and I thought that uh, a couple of other countries wanted me to go, but uh, I thought to go to PNG is close from home, and uh, it's just in the Pacific. So that is what uh, I'm doing at the moment. Uh, I've been there for the last two months. It's the third month. They wanted to qualify for the RB7 series next uh, next year. So we did that. We qualified in uh, Tahiti last two weeks, and uh, we are here on now uh, trying to gain experience, trying trying to play in some tournament which is competitive. Winning or losing is not the point of what we come and do here. It's how we play, uh, play and uh, try and feel how the international rugby board sevens competition will be. That's good. I mean, you know, for yourself, it's uh, trying to give your experience back to the boys in the middle, which is a, a very hard story, I know. But as a coach, it must be hard to sit and watch when all these boys are running. You'd like to be out playing with or you might be playing as well. But again, for World Rugby, it's a good time. Yes, uh, I enjoyed it. don't regret anything, uh, especially rugby years. Over the last uh, nearly 20 years playing for Fiji, I think uh, I really enjoyed it. And this is another part of it. I've uh, stopped from uh, the rugby field. It's uh, off the field now. It's a little bit difficult, especially when we see from outside that should it be done this way and the uh, boys are running in the uh, wrong direction. So anyway, the boys are learning and I'm enjoying my time in Fiji. And uh, a lot of uh, things uh, I face, but uh, I'm just enjoying and looking forward to them playing the RB7 series uh, next year. All right, so bit is just going in the, sport, in, the, in the meantime in the middle. But now, of course, you and I played many years together. I played for Sri Lanka, you were playing for Fiji. We didn't like each other much, but that's how it goes. But tell me about this. When you come to Sri Lanka like this, it's not a bad place, is it? Yes, uh, I thank uh, the sponsors. I thank uh, the sponsors of the Sevens that uh, we are playing here at the moment, the Carlton uh, Sevens, and all the sponsors that took part uh, in uh, making this uh, event possible. It is the first uh, like in invitational uh, tournament. And a lot of big teams are here. Especially Fiji and uh, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, PNG and Samoa. So it is, uh, uh, it is great to come to this tournament. And I salute uh, the officials that are running. I salute George Zinkin, especially he's been doing a great job. 17 Hong Kong for the last, has made a mark. And this one, by the look of it, I think there's a competition for the Hong Kong Sevens here in Sri Lanka. With this first tournament like this, I think, as I always say, Every big thing starts with a small thing. So I think next year will be bigger than this and I wish everyone well and I enjoy my time in Sri Lanka. A lot of people ask him questions, enjoying Sri Lanka? Yes, I enjoyed uh, Sri Lanka, meet a lot of people and I can't believe the many fans that are here. They follow the rugby service well and I can remember too the face that I'm talking to now. Uh, playing each other a couple of years ago, but not the hair. <laughs> so all in all, I'm enjoying it. The boys have benefited from this tournament. We played in uh, six games, we won one. As I already said, it's not about winning or losing. It's about how we feel. So that when we train harder, we know that this is why we're training harder. The level of competition is on the standard. Brilliant, uh, Waisali. I'm going to say thank you very much. In my language, in your language, Bula Vinaka. 
In my language, Ayubam, which means long life and enjoy it. Thank you for being in Sri Lanka and we'll see you soon, hopefully. There you go. That was Vaisali, an absolute legend. I had many happy days playing against him and here he is now talking, chatting on live on camera. Very rare, huge privilege. All of you in the middle, it's rugby back, St. Peter's Royal. Absolutely brilliant. Changa, take it on now. Let's see if St. Peter's or Royal can outdo themselves. Enjoy. Thank you, Sean. That was brilliant. Excellent. Nice to see uh, a legendary Serevi in Sri Lanka. And back to the schoolboys finals. Number nine has been in the thick of everything for Royal. But the score sheet doesn't indicate that Royal are just really trying to get the uh, number right. From zero, they want to get a digit in. Penalty says referee for Royal. Number nine once again. So St. Peter's 17 points ahead. 11 and a half minutes gone. Ravi is very quiet, I know. Uh, his old school is playing number 13. The playmaker, the try scorer, has been asked to go to take a break, to sit and to cool himself. They are going to have uh, six against seven and Royal need to score. Will they score? Yes, they score. And they need to get another. They are just 12 points behind. It's not going to be easy. St. Peter's uh, seem to be the better side today in the final. But of course, Royal have just got a faint chance of coming back. Yes, so they just need to make use of this uh, six-man defense, which uh, St. Peter's will be uh, will face uh, face with within the next two minutes. That goes over 17-7. Seven points away, Ravi. With uh, we got two uh, almost uh, two minutes, one and a half minutes. Can they make it or not? Is going to be the question. They kick deep. St. Peter's will have to play with six, but you can see them attacking. St. Peter's very strong in the attack. And this is all about the game. They have brought that down. Can Royal make it? They need to offload. Intercepted that ball, but not offloading. Penalty once again for Royal. They need to take it and they need to go forward. Will they score again? That's the question. Here yeah, the number seven going. Oh, Where is going under the post? I think that is unnecessary. Royal need to get the points on the board and then <laughs> talk. A little, little, little rush. Probably getting a little bit of you know excitement there. But of course, the Royal need to get the points on the board first. And St. Peter's Dali losing that six. Uh, 17, 14, Royal. Great interesting, and, uh, 17 points to 12. What happened to the conversion? Royal are not interested in conversion. Royal That's probably didn't want to waste the time on the conversion. And they decided to, what do you call, uh, get back and uh, take the kick. Royal has they, will they? It's a mistake. It's a mistake. The hooter's gone. Referee will play on. That's the end of the game. St. Royal. Peter's have won the game. Too late for Royal. Of course, a great show by St. Peter's. Who have pipped the Royal to the post. There are two things here, Ravi. One, they're the inaugural winners of the uh, schools. Uh, Carlton, uh, cup finalists, the winners, and another second thing, they have.